Hello again, webmasters. Today's tip, we will be talking about um, uploading graphics or images on your page. Now, just to differentiate the difference here, um, we're not talking about slideshows today. This is talking about if you want to put a picture on the page or an image or a graphic of something on the page, not, not like a slideshow or a video. So hopefully that'll make a little bit more sense, but we will talk about slideshows in a different tutorial. So like any other time you're making changes, you're gonna turn on your compose mode. And there are multiple ways to do this. So I'm not necessarily trying to convince you this is the best way. I'm just showing you what I prefer and what I'm gonna recommend. But like anything else, there are multiple ways to get this done. So if you have a better process, please feel free. So let's say that I want to put a graphic right here. And I'm just going to put it in line with my text, nothing fancy quite yet. All I need to do is find this uh, image icon. Looks hopefully similar to us because it's almost identical to anything we would see in like an Office 365 document or a Google Doc or pretty much anything else out there that asks for an image. When I click on that, that brings up the basics of our uh, file manager. So the file manager, um, you can access separately, but f I'm walking you through this process because I think it just keeps everything in one frame of mind in terms of a process. So we're going to go to Browse File Manager, and this is your file manager. You will most likely see a whole lot of files over here on the left because technically everybody in the district can view uh, the folders from every school site. So it can get a little overwhelming. Just keep in mind that you want to make sure you go to your folders wherever that may be. So if you're at a school site, always start at schools. In my case today, I am going to be working under district and under departments and under educational services and then under ed tech. And for today, we're actually going to be working just in here because this is my test folder. So anyway, make sure you find the right folder. And that's important not only for your sanity, should you need to revisit it in the future, but also if for some reason in the future, maybe you move sites or you move jobs and somebody else is going to be covering the website, you want to make it easy for them to understand your thought process on where you saved everything. Okay, so once you're here, remember this is unlike an email where you're just technically attaching your picture or your graphic and then sending it. It's a content management system, which means your files have to be in the content management system, final site in this case, before you can use them. So I'm going to upload files. Choose File. And on my desktop, I have an icon that I want to use. So I'm going to click on Open. Upload. And now that file will now upload straight into my file manager. Once it's in the file manager, then all I have to do is click it and click OK. And done. Now, notice it's huge, right? This is where you start fine tuning your images to meet your specific needs. So if I go back in to resize this, I could resize it externally and re import it, but you could probably just let Final Sight do the work. So on a graphic or an image, double click, and then just change it over here. So if I know, and this is kind of a trial by fire, but just throw in a number and see what you think. So in this case, I want it to be kind of a small size. So let's enter 100, click OK, and that, that's pretty good. Maybe I want it a little bigger. So let's say 150 pixels and click OK, and that's fine. And for the most part, that, that's all you need to know. You're getting your image, your graphic, whatever it is, into your file manager and from your file manager into a content box. Now let me just show you another, we'll walk through the same process with a little different uh, thought process. So let's say that I now want a graphic over here on the left and I want my other content over here on the right. This is where you start thinking more about your layout as opposed to just a content box. So if I literally just want that graphic over on the left, I'm going to go ahead and choose a two column wide right layout. And over here on the left, it can be just a content box, even though we're not at this point putting any text in. It's the same process though. So I'm going to add some content, same thing, go to images, browse file manager. If you already have it, uploaded. You can just input it from there. I'm going to upload a new one. 
So say I'm going to grab an icon that I designed. And notice, by the way, that this says 500 by 500. That's pretty big. Uh, I want this to be pretty small. I can, I can resize it here, just like we did in the last one. But in this case, because I told Final Sight I want a small column on the left, that image is going to be automatically fit into that. So I don't really have to do any resizing. I can just leave it. This is not 500 pixels, but it's being constrained by the content box. And that's pretty much it. Over here I can also do content, and then here's where I can add my text or titles or whatever else I want. So that's pretty much it. Hopefully that helps. Just remember, you need to get your graphics or pictures or images or whatever it is into the content management system before you can put it on a page. And in Final Sight's case, that, that portion is called the file manager. So hope that helps. If you guys need anything else, please feel free to let us know, either through the communications department, help desk, or just email myself. I'm John over in Educational Technology, and we'll be happy to help you.